Good day, Jan. Thank you for joining me on another of a coke and a smile, Ron. You know, I, I, I have to stop going on the street up and school at sort of three o'clock. I think something goes wrong or, or something turns off in the heads of children when they hear that school bell ring to let them know it's time to go. Now, today, I'm driving, minding my business. Now, about two, three hundred feet ahead of me were a group of four girls. And they were talking to some guy who pulled on the side of the road to talk to them. Anyway, they drove off. They got into a shouting match, and I don't understand what a big grown man has to do with junior high school girls in the first place. I'm to the point to get in a shouting match with them. Anyway, one of the girls crossed the street, but before she stepped off the sidewalk, she looked behind her. She looked behind her, she saw me coming, and I said to myself, because the other three girls were still yelling at the guy who was driving, let me slow down, because if I know people like I know people, they're going to walk right in front of my car. And sure enough, they did. Now, stupid me told the same three girls, I said, you know what? I don't have a problem with you all walking in front of my car because I expected that, which is very sad because you all are 14. But I hope you notice your friend, when she crossed the road, she looked to see if the way was clear and she walked across and didn't tell you all to watch your back. She let you walk right into traffic. Well, of course, I got berated and I won't repeat the words, but <clears throat> this is exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about your friends and blind spots. Now, the four of them, are, uh, first of all, you all are junior high school girls. What are you all doing entertaining grown men? And the question is, what is he doing talking to these little girls? Well, anyway, the issue for me was the three friends, three of them, and not one of them noticed that the other girl looked out for her safety and not theirs. That was a life lesson right there. She made sure she was safe. And then she walked across and said nothing to them. Because I slowed down because I thought she would have told them um, to watch out there's a car behind you. And of course, you know, the hit dogs holler, hit dogs holler. So she was protesting the loudest. And the biggest one who gave me the finger and I told her, you giving me the finger, but you would be the first person I would have hit if I wasn't paying attention. You were in the greatest danger. <laughs> well, anyway, gentlemen, that was a real life, real live example of the importance of A, watching the company you keep, and B, watching your blind spots. That girl showed her friends how she feel about them and they all banded together to attack me because I pointed it out. All right, um, I think, I think, I think uh, people from the South like to say it. Skinned folk ain't kin folk. And that's the truth, gentlemen. Not because you grin and skin with somebody means that they are friend. But that girl right there proved it. She gave a good example of what I was talking about in the last couple of rounds. Gentlemen, pay attention to what is going on around you. Now, I would have been in a ton of trouble if I hit those three girls. But anyway, it didn't happen, thank God. I go about my business. <clears throat> Excuse me, that really would have put a cramp in my style. It's the second day on the road having to deal with crazy little children. All right. Goodbye, gentlemen.